guys, Chuck with the Magic Touch USA. A lot of you have been asking questions about our new paper, the WTT, which is white donor transfer film that you're receiving from Magic Touch. It's a great paper. The thing is, we just need to add a couple extra steps in your digital factory software to get you set up for success. So travel along with me for a minute, and I want to show you how to manually add that paper into your digital factory software. Okay, so when you're ready to start using the Magic Touch WTT paper, you do have to add a profile here into Digital Factory. And the way we do that is we come over here, we click on the Magic Touch WoW. That's going to be our base. Okay, then we're going to go over here in the queue area in the top left, and we're going to double click on the queue. Next, we're going to come over here to Layout Manager. And we're going to put a check into the mirror on job import because since this is a film, we do want it to be mirrored. Next, we're going to go to color layer. We're going to go to processing options. And we're going to change this from 100 to 254. You should have coverage under base selected here, and it should be 254 under your coverage. That's basically telling the printer how much white to put behind your design. Next, you're going to go to Printer Options. And under Media Type, you're going to choose Transparency. And then under Media Weight, we're going to come over here and we're going to change that to Ultra Heavy 3. And now we're going to click on Create Print Mode. We're going to change the name of this from WOW to WTT Film. And you click on Save, and it's going to save that profile for you. Now you can click Cancel. Now you can come over here, and you'll see that the Magic Touch WTT Film has now been added to your paper profiles. We do need to make one more change, though. We come back up here to the tab that we selected earlier. We double-click on it. We get our queue up here, and we're going to go to Layout Manager. This time, we want to make sure that we have a check mark in Mirror Job on Import. Then we tell this OK. And now you're ready to start using your film. Keep in mind when you set your job up, you choose your Magic Touch WTT film, and you're going to choose either A3 for the larger sizes, or you're going to choose A4 for the smaller sizes. Okay, now that we have our settings in Digital Factory, there are some things you're going to need to properly use your WTT white toner transfer paper from the Magic Touch USA. First of all, let's keep in mind that this is a two-step paper. It's a dark or light substrate paper, so it's suitable for all fabrics as well. Some of the things you're going to need are, you're going to definitely need your wow pad. This is a key essential part in the proper use of this paper. You're getting a great Mary from it. Next, you're going to want to have your transfer printed out on the film, and you're going to want to make sure that it's printed on the frosted side. So we're going to take that and set that to the side. Next, you're going to want to make sure that you have the white mask. Okay, this is what we're going to press to our film. Also, key to being successful with this paper is using the parchment paper. Do not use butcher paper. Don't use copy paper or anything that's thick. And definitely do not use Teflon sheets or the thicker gray silicone sheets. All you need is a piece of non mix parchment paper, which you can get from us at the Magic Touch USA, or you can pick it up at your local grocery store. And last but not least, one of the primary uh, tools in success is your Magic Touch T-Seal sheet. This is going to be the sheet that helps you seal your toner into the fabric of your shirt when you're done. So now that we know what we need, we're going to just kind of take a look at how this process works. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to set our press up. We're going to be using the Insta256 press today. This is the one that all of our papers are tested on, and we pretty much guarantee that our papers to work with this press. If you're using another high-end press, such as a Geonite, a 16 by 20 or the uh, Hotronics Fusion IQ, your settings are going to be pretty close to the same. You may just want to increase your temperature by about 20 degrees. 
Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to look here, and this particular paper is set for 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so that's where you want it. If it fluctuates between 5 degrees above or 5 degrees below, you should be fine without any real issues. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to swing your press away or lift your clamshell up. Again, if you're using a clamshell also, you might want to increase your temperature by about 20 degrees to maybe about 345 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, you're going to take your wow pad and you're going to actually take it and you want to lay it right on top of the lower platen. Some people will preheat it, some people won't. If you find you're still struggling a little bit, preheating it might not be a bad idea. But wow pad is going to go down first. Next, you're going to take your transfer that you on. You're going to take it and you're going to lay it with the glossy side down, the frosted side up, or the toner side up. So we're going to set it right here in the center of our press. Next, we're going to take our mask. This is the white sheet with the magenta writing on the back of it. You're going to take it and you're going to lay it right on top of your film here. Now, a little trick that some people do is they will take and they'll fold the corner of their mask up, or not mask, yes, the mask just a little bit so they have something to peel from. Now, where you peel from is completely and totally up to you. Some people will do it from the lower right. Some people do it from the lower left. I prefer the lower left, but it just depends on your particular style, okay? Next, this is important. You're going to want to make sure that you set your parchment paper on top of this. Okay. Now, we've got everything set. We're also going to set our press to a heavy pressure. If you're using the Insta-256, you want to kind of make sure that it's got a little firmness when you press down on it, okay? If you're using the Hotronics Fusion IQ or something with a digital readout on it, then at that point, you might want to go ahead and set your pressure to about maybe a 7, between 7 and 8. 7 should do it, though. And the last step is we're actually going to press this for 60 seconds for the A4 size. Um, if you have a larger size, you might want to go to about 90 seconds. Just depends on how much heat that you get on your uh, on your transfer. All right, we're going to close it up. Okay. You'll see I have my press set to one minute. 330 degrees, 325. Remember I said five degrees above or below is okay. And now we're going to lower this down. Heavy pressure. And we're going to let it go for 60 seconds. Okay, now that our 60 seconds are up, we're going to open our press, and we're going to keep this parchment paper down on here. We're going to open it up, and we're going to peel this back. We're going to grab here on the corner, and we're just going to peel it right back. Okay, keep the parchment paper on there if you can. Now, the next step that I want to show you, I'm going to get this off my arm, the next thing I want to show you is if you look here, you're going to notice that there's no toner on the sheet at all, okay? Thanks. The next thing you're going to notice is that looking at the design itself, there are no spots on here that we're not expecting to be. We've got a great peel right here. The next step in this process is we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to set our wow pad to the side. We don't need it any longer. Next, we're going to take our shirt. And today we're going to use a black shirt. And we're just going to set it right on top of the press. And what I like to do is this shirt is a little wrinkly. So I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to give it about a five second press to get rid of any wrinkles or moisture that may be in the shirt. Okay. okay, now sometimes, since we're working with a two-step paper, you might notice that there's a little bit of lines or sometimes a mask with adhesive may have squeezed out. We're gonna go ahead and trim around that just a little bit.
Click next. I'm going to take my transfer. And I want to take the white side and I'm going to place it face down onto the shirt. Now I have my design that I can see here and the white part is facing the shirt. Now I'm going to use my parchment paper again. This is a thin paper. So if you don't use parchment, it may buckle a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and use our parchment paper one more time. We're going to press this time still at 325 degrees, but we're only going to press for 10 seconds. Still a heavy pressure. Ten seconds are up. I'm going to lift this up, open my press, and I'm going to go ahead and take my parchment paper, set it to the side. This is going to be a cold peel, so we can just set our shirt to the side. Typically, what I like to do is I'll go ahead, set it here, and I have a gel pack that I like to use. So I'm just going to take my gel pack and set it right on top of the design. Now, I'm not going to worry too much about whether or not um, it takes 10 seconds to cool or 3 minutes to cool. Gel packs work great, or just letting it sit by the side uh, works great also. Do not peel it hot. You're going to peel it cold. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this back just a little bit, and I think you guys can see what I'm doing here. I'll go ahead and take this off. My design is cold now, so I'll set my jet pack, gel pack to the side. And all I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to grab a corner of this and I'm just going to peel it straight up. And when I do that, you're going to notice I don't have anything left on my transfer sheet here. And what you've got is you have your design here now on our black shirt. Okay, now you might notice it's a little shiny. Okay, that's because the toner is sitting right directly on top of the shirt. So this is where your T-seal comes in at. I'm just gonna take this, I'm gonna put it back on the press. In this particular design, I'm gonna T-seal for 20 seconds. I'm not gonna change my temp, and I'm not gonna change my pressure either. So I take my shirt, Put it right back on the press. I take my T-seal. Remember, we're going to put the rubbery side down. So I'm going to set that right there. Again, heavy pressure. I'm going to keep the temp the same, and we're going to go for 20 seconds. Now, I know this is a bit of a longer video, but I really want to make sure you guys understand the full steps on how to use your WTT paper. Okay. okay, 20 seconds are up. I lift the platen. I can take the T-seal right off of here because it doesn't need to sit there and cool or anything. And what you're gonna notice now is the shirt no longer has any kind of shine to it. It's got a great look to it right there. The feel of it, while I can feel it here and it feels great, you guys are gonna have to more or less feel on your own. But again, also, you can take it and if you're in stretching it, you can do that also. And you'll see that there is no cracking on the shirt. Okay, so there you are. I do want to go over the steps one last time for you. First of all, make sure that in Digital Factory, you have the right profile set up for your WTT white toner transfer film. Okay, you can refer to the beginning of the video for that as well, in case you uh, don't already have it on there. Secondly, make sure you have all the materials that you need. Keep in mind, this is not like a lot of the two-step laser dark paper you see out there on the market. You have to use a wow pad, which is going to be your first step. Then you're going to place your transfer print, which is on the film. You're going to place it on your wow pad, toner side facing up. Okay, secondly, you're going to take your mask, which is the magenta sheet, white part facing down on top of the toner. Go ahead and fold a bit of the corner on there so we have something to grab onto. And then you're going to lay your parchment paper on top of that. Okay, parchment paper is very important when it comes to this. Your press settings, 325 degrees Fahrenheit. You're going to set your pressure at about 
you know, a heavy pressure, again, if you're using a hot tronics or another one that's got a digital readout on it, between a seven or an eight. And then you want to do it for 60 seconds. If you find you need a little more heat, kicking it up to 90 seconds is fine. If you're using the A3 sheets, 90 seconds is probably preferable. But once you're used to it, you should be able to do it for 60 seconds. Um, next, it's a hot peel. So make sure when you peel that sucker off there that you peel it right away. Don't rip it off, but don't go slow either. Keep it at a steady pace to peel it down and keep it flat to the platen as well as you're, as you're peeling it up. Now, when you go to lay it to the shirt, shirt on the platen, you're going to maybe pre-press the shirt about five seconds or so to get the wrinkles out. You don't have to. That's just a preference that I have. Then you're going to lay the transfer on their corner side facing down, which is going to be all white. Okay, you should be looking at the design before you close your press. Use your parchment paper again. This is a thinner film than some of those other ones that are out there on the market. So use your parchment paper so it doesn't buckle. You're going to press it to your shirt for 10 seconds, heavy pressure, 325 degrees. You're going to cold peel it when you're done. And once you cold peel it, then you're going to lay your T-seal on top of it. And then you're going to press it for 20 seconds, 325 degrees, heavy pressure, lift it up. And then when you're done there, just peel that T-seal right off there, and you're going to have a great design and a great feeling shirt. If you guys have any questions or run into any other issues, please feel free to reach out to us at support at themagictouchusa.com. The USA is important. So support at themagictouchusa.com, or feel free to log into your Magic Touch USA uh, account and fill out a support ticket and we'll be we'll be with you very soon. Um, I hope that answers a lot of your questions. If you have any other questions or any frustrations, please reach out to us. We are here to help.